Dr. the Honorable Ralph Gonzalez, Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Dr. Didicus Jules, Director General of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, Commissioners of the OECS, Officials of OECS Institutions headquartered in St. Lucia, Staff of the OECS Commission, Reverend Father Albert Aaron Smith, Parish Priest of the Good Shepherd Church, Babono, Officials of the St. Lucia Cadet Corps, Nationals of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good Day. The Organization of Eastern Caribbean States Commission welcomes you to this virtual flag raising ceremony to commemorate the 45th anniversary of independence of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. St. Vincent and the Grenadines achieved independence on the 27th of October 1979 and this year they celebrate under the theme 45 years of togetherness, prosperity and perseverance. The OECS Commission extends congratulations to the government and people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines on this wonderful juncture. Distinguished guests and participants, let's proceed to the flag raising by the officers of the St. Lucia Cadet Corps. The national anthem of St. Vincent and the Grenadines will be played during this segment. Thank you, Officer of the St. Lucia Cadet Corps. Now, I wish to introduce Reverend Father Albert Smith to say a prayer for the nation of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O Almighty and loving Father, as we gather to celebrate 45 years of independence for St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we thank you for the abundant blessings you have given to our nation. We ask for your continued grace to fill our land with peace, love, and harmony. Bless our people as we work together for progress and development. And may your hand guide us in all of our endeavors for the growth of our country. We lift up our leaders that they may lead with wisdom, compassion, and justice, always seeking the common good. We pray for the youth of our nation, that they may grow into strong, responsible citizens with purpose and vision. May our justice system be fair and just to all, ensuring equality and dignity for every citizen. Bless St. Vincent and the Grenadines for many fruitful years to come, and may your love and grace guide us as we continue our journey in unity and faith. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Smith, for your words of prayer. Now, I wish to welcome the Director General of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, his Excellency, Dr. Didicus Jules, to give some remarks celebrating this occasion. Your Excellency, the Governor General, Dame Susan Dugan, Prime Minister, the Honorable Dr. Ralph E. Gonzales, distinguished members of government and the opposition, esteemed guests, and my dear brothers and sisters of the Blessed Land, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We at the OECS Commission stand here today with deep pride and gratitude as we celebrate 45 proud years of your independence under the theme 45 years of togetherness, prosperity, and perseverance. This milestone is not just a measure of time, but a testament to the resilience, strength, 
and the unwavering spirit of the Vincentian people. In these 45 years, St. Vincent and the Grenadines has faced its share of challenges. Indeed, the very nature of our region's geography has meant that natural and climatic disasters are frequent visitors, and we add an unwelcome visitors. The eruptions of La Soufre, the devastation of hurricanes, and the increasing threat of climate change have all sought to test our endurance. Yet, each time the earth trembled or the skies darkened, St. Vincent rose stronger, bound together by the unbreakable thread of community. There is no question that the indomitable DNA of the Garifuna is buried deep in the national psyche. The perseverance of this nation is etched in its response to adversity. It is seen in how farmers return to the fields after storms, how families rebuild their homes after ash clouds settle, and how communities support each other in times of greatest need. The government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines has shown remarkable leadership through it all, charting a path forward, not with fear, but with vision, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to the well-being of its people. And the people, as they have always done, stood firm, embodying the essence of togetherness that forms the bedrock of this great nation. As we celebrate today, we also recognize that St. Vincent and the Grenadines has not only weathered these storms at home, but has also distinguished itself on the global stage. St. Vincent's principles stand on issues of sovereignty, global justice, and the dignity of all people has garnered respect and admiration across the, the globe. Your country has championed the cause of the global south, advocating for the sovereignty of all nations, particularly the small and vulnerable, and ensuring that the voices of the marginalized are heard. From its proud breakthrough membership in the United Nations Security Council to its vocal advocacy for the climate vulnerable, St. Vincent and the Grenadines has proven time and time again that size is no limitation to influence. It stands as a beacon for the Caribbean and the wider global south, promoting the dignity and equality of every child of Mother Earth and championing the right of each nation to determine its own path, free from the constraints of external domination. This 45-year journey has been marked by both triumph and trial, but through it all, St. Vincent and the Grenadines has remained steadfast. Togetherness has been your strength, prosperity your goal, and perseverance your guide. As you look to the future, you stand on firm ground, ready to embrace the opportunities and overcome the challenges that lie ahead. Today, as we reflect on the past 45 years, we honor the sacrifices of those who have come before, the strength of Vincentians today, and the promise of generations to come. Let us commit to continuing this legacy of unity, resilience, and ambition. Let us ensure that the next 45 years are just as prosperous and may the enduring spirit of St. Vincent and the Grenadines continue to shine as a symbol of hope, dignity, and strength. Happy 45th Independence, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Together, we are unstoppable. I thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jules, for your remarks. Next, I wish to invite Dr. The Honorable Ralph Gonzalez, Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, to give remarks. On Sunday, the 27th of October, 2024, St. Vincent and the Grenadines celebrates, commemorates its 45th anniversary of the, its reclamation of sovereignty and independence, which were taken away from us in 1763 by British colonialism. Since that time until today, we have had much pain and suffering in our history. 
but we have had joys and triumphs, and particularly so after our period of independence. St. Vincent is today a modern developing country, but we have our challenges, we have our strengths and possibilities, and we have our weaknesses and limitations. But through it all, we have been able to build a magnificent component of our Caribbean civilization at a solid material level and in freedom and democracy, in faith and in hope and in love. 45 years of becoming more prosperous, more secure, we have persevered and we have uplifted ourselves. We are on a trajectory for further upliftment and ennoblement. Happy anniversary of independence, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Thank you, Prime Minister, for your heartening remarks. Esteemed viewers, we have come to the end of this virtual flag raising ceremony. The OECS Commission thanks you all for your participation. We especially wish to thank the Honorable Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the Director General of the OECS, Commissioners of the OECS, Officials of OECS Institutions, Staff of the OECS Commission, and of course, Nationals of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We also thank Reverend Albert Smith and the St. Lucia Cadet Corps for their contribution to this ceremony. Thank you all. The OECS Commission extends its heartfelt wishes for continued prosperity in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Happy Independence!